Hey guys, what is up? In today's video, I have a huge Disney outlet haul. Hey guys, what is up? If you're new, my name is Brittany, and like I said, today we have a Disney outlet haul. Okay, first of all, it has been so long since I have said those words. Second of all, this is the first time I am doing a video <laughs> that's not year of the year related in a good like seven months. Can we just, yeah, guys, if, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I, I was posting a lot, you know, during um, quarantine and all that kind of stuff, but life has just kind of been crazy for me. So I've been doing a monthly swap. So I've been posting about once a month, but um, I haven't really been posting otherwise except for today. I do have another video that I actually have already filmed and it is ready to go. I'm just not sure when it's going to be posted. So, you know, if you want to stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see what other video content we come up with. Um, all I'll say is it may be another haul and it may be involving something that rhymes with shmim shmore. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you get notified every single time we post. Cause as of right now, we unfortunately don't have a schedule. Liz and I went to our local Disney outlets and they were having a big Christmas in July sale. Like so much Christmas stuff was there. So much of it was insanely cheap. And then it was, everything was like an extra 20% off also. It was crazy. Um, we had a really good time. And so I just kind of wanted to share with you guys uh, some of the merchandise that we got. Also, you will have an opportunity to get your hands on some of this stuff specifically. Um, and I will explain to you how you can get your hands on this stuff at the end of the video. So without further ado, I think we should just jump on in. We used to go to the outlets a lot, and then we realized, you know, we have a lot of stuff and we do not need more. But one day we just felt like going, so we went, and sure enough, we found some stuff. And we found more stuff. And you guessed it, more stuff. We got several ornaments. Um, and I'm very excited to share them with you because some of them are ones that I've wanted since they came out last year and um, I was able to still get them, so I was very excited. All right, starting out with, we have the beautiful Jasmine. If you remember, they came out with the Jasmine one last year. I'll try to insert pictures if they don't um, come out super good. The lighting in my room right now is kind of whack. Um, but they came out with a really pretty one of Jasmine last year, although it was a cute concept, but she looked kind of funky on all the ones I saw, so I never unfortunately bought her, but I thought this one was still really pretty. Next, we have the ornament of Alice in Wonderland. This one is super cute. I really like this one. Um, I love how it has a lot of the roses, and some of them are red, some of them are pink because they're starting to lose paint, and some of them are still white super cute chesh is on there and then you have one of the cute little flamingos and the little hedgehog guy super super cute and i love how it has the 70th logo on top there we got queen anna this one is a super pretty one too i love how they have her crown right there on top and then her just her pretty room or whatever that is um look at the detail like the gold on the side and all on the back super cute we had to get you know my girl ariel this one i really wanted last year when i saw it um it is ariel and her cute little sheet <laughs> whatever that is with flounder scuttle and sebastian how often do you see like all three of them together and then you have this super cute little shell bottom super cute speaking of scuttle and flounder we got them individually super cute look at flounder's little face oh my gosh i love this one so much so cute i feel like i'm gonna be saying this the whole video so cute so cute oh my gosh you guys this one this was one of my top ones that i was like i have to have this even though i already actually have something very similar to it but it's Pooh Bear! Look at him in his little, I don't know what it's called, the, the, he's in the tree, but he's in the, whatever, the bees, it's not a honeycomb, whatever, the bees house. <laughs> 
and there's honey everywhere and there's the bee look at his little butt look at his legs i can't these cute little bees on the back so flipping cute i love it i like i said i do have something kind of similar to it but i just had to have this one next we got this really pretty ornament from 101 dalmatians you have roger and anita here with pongo and perdita and these cute little footprints all over it oh my gosh you guys hands down this was one of my absolute favorite ones that i got because it is such an underrated character i got basil look at basil he's so freaking cute i love it i love it so much 35 years i feel like that movie's it feels like that movie's older but guess 35 is old i'm turning 30 this year so anything with the number 30 in it to me feels old i don't want all of you people who are older than 30 to message in the comments and be like i don't want to hear it because i'm i know i understand i know i'm still young but i feel old okay oh my gosh you guys i was so excited about this one too this is one of those characters that i'm actually not well no let me rephrase it it's not i don't love this movie but anything with this character on it i love we got baby little dumbo like how freaking precious is this 80 years look at his little ears or his big ears so cute again this is another ornament from a movie that i don't particularly love but i love this ornament it is a cars ornament which can we just talk about it cars has been out for 15 years i'm sorry what um it has oh my god i'm spacing on his name doc but i can't remember his full name and lightning mcqueen it says cars on the front i love this because it totally reminds me of radiator springs um land cars land it's a super fun ride super cute land um and this ornament just reminded me of that so i really wanted it i believe this is the last one last but definitely not least we got the adorable fox and the hound we have little copper and todd in there and some cute little flowers on the side and on the inside super freaking cute 40 years this movie crazy i believe that was it for ornaments we'll see see if i come across any more um next christmas item i got though you guys oh my gosh they had ears they had ears and they were actually reasonably priced last time we went to the outlets you know like everything the price like went up a lot even for outlet prices and i wasn't into it um especially for ears they were still like five dollars less than park price um these though were not the case how freaking cute are these super excited to wear these around the holidays i love them they are so cute this bow is so cute i love the pearls i love the wreaths super adorbs we're not done we found more ears guys with long tags we got the christmas cookies super cute and i know these were actually at the character warehouse for literally so much cheaper than what i got them for but you know like i said we're one of the few um disney outlet store is still around so i'm not going to complain at the prices they were still better than full price super cute i do wish there was a little bit of a bow but um again i'm not going to be picky next you guys i am so excited about this i'm wearing this in the parks so excited to wear this look at this it is a herc jersey it says 97 with herc on it this back what hercules super cute i don't know if i'm gonna wear it like with like the middle button and like some cute biker shorts um i don't i think it's still gonna be too warm to wear leggings i can wear like my crop top with this kind of like tied up i don't know super cute definitely gonna be wearing this in the parks for sure all right guys we had a huge pin haul um i'm not gonna obviously show you all of them and we did already open them so i'll try to show you what we got if i can remember but they had these super cool beauty and the beast mystery pins 
Um, these were a limited release, I think, or oh, maybe not. It doesn't say, but it's for the 30th anniversary. They had all of the side characters, which I love. I love that there's literally a pin set of like the rare obscure characters. Like I want more of that. We got a bunch of these. Next, you guys, hoo 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 hoo. This was another great find for Christmas time, but this one was for Liz. If you guys know Liz, you know she loves her little green men. What? We found a Christmas sweater and this is so nice because as you can see, you can see the alien, but he's also kind of hidden. He's not like boom in your face obnoxious, even though Liz would have been totally okay with a sweater like that. But super cute, really nice, really pretty, perfect for Christmas and winter time. And it's just a nice little nod to Disney. Oh, I got this bag. I'm pulling stuff out of. I have this gorgeous bag. It was like $15. Yes. And I got, it was like everything was 20% off. I literally can't remember because it was a little while ago now. But everything was even cheaper than what we actually got it for, which was even more mind boggling. But we got this super cute rose gold bag. Super pretty. I got tons of stuff in here still, but it's huge. It's meant to fit your laptop. It's got a spot for your phone, a million pockets, super cute. Can you see this design on the inside? Little Mickey heads on this baby pink. So freaking cute. It's a perfect like overnight bag um, or if you wanted to go to the parks with it. We got this super cool Star Wars pin. Um, I will show you what it looks like off the card. It's from the Rainbow Collection when they came out with a bunch of Pride merch. But look how cool this is. I don't know if it's picking up really how cool it is, but it's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of like stained glass. Um, so you have all the different, like, I'm not a Star Wars fan, um, not that much, I'm a little bit, but not enough to know the difference between all of these, but it's super cool all the different um, emblems or whatever they are and they're all in like rainbow order and they look really it looks really cool when there's like a light shining behind it it's very uh bright and just beautiful so we had to get that one you guys i kid you not this was the cheapest pin i think i have ever have seen at a disney store period even the outlets so they had these mystery what are they called? Mystery magic, magical mystery pins. This is series 18. This is the little sock collection. Again, I apologize. I'll try to insert pictures, but we got literally a million of those. Again, we got more of the Beauty and the Beast ones, tons of pins, you guys. Um, I won't show you all of them, but just so you can see, I just dropped one. You can kind of get an idea. So here's like the little footstool. It looks like a little book super cute I really loved this set and then again just an example of the socks pain and panic super excited to get those pins last bag so it's kind of a tradition we get a bag just about every time we go to the Disney outlets it has rainbow Mickey it was a must so I got this Gus pin um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, I'm not sure if I'm into it, but they had this Funko Pop Gus for like $2 or something like that. Um, so I just got it. Um, he's one of the three hitchhiking ghosts, so those are the other ones in the collection. But I just like, I couldn't for the deal, I just couldn't pass it up. We got more pins, guys. We got this one from the Goofy movie. When you open it up, it comes with two pins, actually. This one has Powerline, and it has a VHS of a Goofy movie, and it gets even better when you open it up. That's right, you see where I'm going with this? Uh-huh. You open it up, there's a little VHS tape! How freaking cute is that? We also got this Dumbo one. This actually is gonna be going to Liz's mom but it is super cute. Again, I mean, look at the boxes. Like, it's literally like, these are like the VHS tapes as well. Like, so cute. When you open it up though, you have the little Dumbo pin with the VHS pin. 
same thing. We are people that still wear masks. It's just our comfort level. And these were insanely cheap because a lot of people aren't wearing masks anymore. Um, these were insanely cheap. I think they were like 60 cents. Um, and we bought a couple of them and each has four in a pack. And these are the really nice ones that are kind of, um, not nylon-y, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not cloth or cotton, so they're very light and they don't feel really heavy on your face. Came with Pizza Planet, Buzz Lightyear, which we actually already have that we got in a separate, like an individual pack, I think. Up and Coco. Very excited to wear these when we go on vacation to DCA. I thought these were, these things where you like hook it on like a table or hook it on like a, um, like a bathroom door to put like your purse on. I had no idea what these were. Um, but <laughs> I got three of them. Um, that is a utility key. So it's literally meant to open up doors basically so you don't have to touch it I had no idea so I got two villain ones and then I also got like they're super cute especially this one on like a backpack this cute Minnie Mouse one super cute again guys bought a million pins um, I had no idea about this princess collection since we moved away from the parks I don't do a lot of pin stuff anymore unfortunately um, so I don't even know what's coming out half the time. These are so pretty. I'm so obsessed and you know I bought one of each. So this came from this princess collection. It says ultimate princess collection, the designer collection. So this one is Jasmine. When you open it up, it says princess Jasmine and then you see her whole outfit. I again, I apologize for the glare. Um, super cute it doesn't really you know like look like Jasmine but um, none of these really do because they're in like these fancy outfits we have this one Sleeping Beauty I think yes Aurora like look at these pins they just were so pretty and I just like I don't know I really wanted them all the gorgeous Tiana Look at that, so pretty. We got the gorgeous Pocahontas. And of course, my girl, Ariel. Tiana's my girl too, but. I just really liked how unique and different they were, so I had to have them. I also picked up, this is going to be probably a trader, or I will be selling it to somebody we got um because liz actually bought this for me for i believe it was my birthday last year the hunchback of notre dame limited edition or limited release pen for the 25th anniversary such a good price i couldn't pass it up i picked up this super cute pixar ball pin from again the rainbow collection for pride we picked up oh you guys i'm so sick of plush yet we can't stop buying it. We got, again, one of these, so this is a little bit different. It's not like the pin set, or it's like the pin set, but it's not the pin set. So it looks like the VHS, but when you open it, a plush is inside. And sure enough, Liz got this little alien guy. Don't know what she's gonna do with it, but you know what, I don't have room to talk, so. We are just about done with our very long haul. I then also picked up this Alice in Wonderland 70th anniversary blanket. It is so cute, I think. Um, it's kind of hard to see, that's the image. It has Alice and it's got the talking flowers. And I just thought it was really cool. It was from the from Mary Blair, who's the artist. It was a $70 blanket, you guys. I did not pay $70, I paid less than ten dollars for this blanket um super beautiful super soft i actually picked one up for my sister as well i don't know if she's watching this but surprise molly i also got you one and last but certainly not least one of my favorite items that we got in this haul it's a big one so funny because last year liz was like oh i really really want a christmas um cookie jar and so we end up finding one on clearance at the start of this year. 
it was just like a I think it's like a Christmas penguin or something it's cute but this takes the cake or should I say cookies we got this adorable cookie jar it says Chip and Dale's it's got Minnie and Mickey on that side Chip and Dale on that side Goofy and Daisy which you never see Daisy and Donald and Pluto so cute look at the little fork and spoon at the top adorable this was originally $55 um, I don't know if it has on here how much we paid it says $14.98 and again we got like everything 20% off so do the math so I think what's gonna happen is this is gonna be decor and we're gonna make the penguin the actual cookie jar so um, but we couldn't pass this up could you could you honestly I didn't think so. So we officially have reached the end of the video and now I'm going to explain what I said earlier about how you could get some of this stuff. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, like I said, you should. If you do though, then you will know that we often go on with my good friend Sue over at Bangers Bubbly. I will leave all her info in the description, of course. Um, we go live quite often together and we sell lots of our Disney merch that we don't want anymore or that we thought you guys would love. Like a lot of this stuff, I picked up doubles off, so you have an opportunity to purchase some of this stuff, including the ornaments, the pins, a lot of this stuff I got doubles on. So if you're interested in getting any of this stuff, make sure you go follow us on Instagram, go follow Sue on Instagram, um, and then you'll be notified when we go live. We will be going live, though I can tell you, it's gonna be on July 29th, at 5 p.m. Pacific time and 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested in coming and checking out our live sale, we would love to, even if you don't feel like you're gonna wanna purchase anything, just come hang out. We play games, we give out prizes. We have a really good time. So I wanted to get on and give out this invitation to you guys through YouTube, since I know sometimes uh, it doesn't always cover fully on Instagram. So. Make sure you guys come check that out if you're interested in purchasing anything or just hanging out. Thanks guys so much for watching. Let me know if you can. What was some of your favorite items down in the description below? Um, there was quite a bit of awesome stuff. So I don't really know what my favorite was. I love my Hercules shirt. I love so many of the ornaments and the pins. This freaking cookie jar. I mean, if you can come up with a, a favorite, you know, let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys so much for watching and as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.